So we're going to just take the paper clip and open it up. I have other videos making rings with paper clips. Some of them are even made without using tools. I am going to use tools for this project. You just want to go slowly and open up the paper clip get it as straight as possible. We'll take the paper clips and we're just going to wind them around the smaller end of the mandrel because we just want to start these bends. So we're just going to do one, two, and three. And then we're just going to take this one and bend it straight up and then put it on the mandrel to see about what size we want. So say we're doing a size six, we're just gonna take that here and then bend it up. So this is what we have so far and we're gonna do the same on this one. So bend it up. We can compare it with this one instead of putting it on the ring cone. Match these up, hold that in place and then bend it up. So now we have two like that and now to do a third one, we're going to bend one of the ends up, the shorter end. So we're just going to bend this a little bit shorter here. So we have an end to wind around. We're just going to bend that here. So now we're going to line these all up. Make sure the one that's horizontal is on the outside. Put these together, put it back on your ring cone. Make sure they're all lined up and then take this end, give it a good little tug around these. It's a little tricky to hold it in place but just hold it with your thumb and finger and then bring that around. You can always pinch it in a little bit, bring it all the way around, pinch and rotate, bring this one right over. These five are wound around with that one. I'm going to remove it from the mandrel. Now these are spreading so we want to hold them together so we're going to put this in place and then take this end and bring it around through and up and then we're going to pinch it. Give it a good little pinch so the end is pushed in. You can cut that end but it's probably easier to pinch it in and you won't have to cut it. So now we're just going to push these ones down push these together as much as possible. So now we have three bands and five wires sticking up. Put it back on the ring mandrel. At this point we're going to spread these wires out. So we're going to bring that one there, that one out here, that one here, that one here, and that one here. So it looks a little bit like a star. And then we're going to push these ones down. So push these down so they're flat. Go all the way around, rotate them, push, push, push. From there we can place our sequin on there and just imagine where we need to clip these. So we would just clip this about a quarter, an eighth to a quarter inch. So that's going to pop off. And then we're going to just go ahead and cut these all the same size. You can use a ruler if you need as well. We're just going to cut these. Don't use your best cutters because the wire is quite stiff. It's like stainless steel. So we've cut these all to about a quarter inch and then we're just going to take our pliers and bend it in just a little bit around. These are our flat pliers. You can also use your round pliers. We're just going to go all the way around. And then we can always adjust these shorter if we need. Push them down a little more if they're not flat enough. Down, down, down. So this is what we have so far. And then the sequin would go right in here. 
if these need to be pinched in a little more, you can do that. Sometimes it's easier with round pliers to bring them in a little bit more. Just play around with them until this fits snugly in there. Then we'll go ahead and just bend them in a little bit more. Just pointing in a little bit more towards the center. Go slowly with this. And there. And then in there. So then we're going to just slide it in there. And you probably have to get your pliers to pull these out a little bit. So you can slide it right in there careful not to poke your finger. Now once it's popped in there you can bend these in a little bit more. Take the end and just give it a little pinch without breaking the glass. Pinch, pinch, a little bit at a time. And you don't want these to be too long that they're sticking out. You could even cut them a little bit shorter. You can also file those ends before you pinch them over so they won't be sharp. And then you can put it back on the ring mandrel. If you need to adjust it, just take this and give it a little twist. And there you have your prong ring made with a sequin and three paper clips. And here's one made with two paper clips and I've twisted these into spirals to hold the sequin. You can take vintage jewelry. You can just remove the rhinestones that are inside. I also have these little ones that I just found in my stuff that you can just do the same. Just pull back the prongs. pop them out and you can reuse that. 